just establish spacing, establish projectile game, make Palatina have to do the dirty work, I think that's sort of, or make Lucina, rather. I don't know if I said Palatina then. Uh, you did. Make Lucina have to do the dirty work. Same character, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, All right. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if your theory will come to uh, will come to pass. Well, then again, friend. you know, we're still in uh, winter side of uh, top 32 here. So, are we gonna see? Now we're gonna start off with the squirrel here. Looks like we are. All right, Squirtle, Of course, you know, Pokemon trainers love to start off with this character because this character is essentially Mario. Yeah. Down throw up air, up air, up air into fairs. Only he also has, also has flood. Only a lot quicker and a lot harder to hit. Yeah. That is essentially the truth, my friend. And here we go, tacking on like to a little two hits, forcing him towards the ledge right there, and a little bit more, getting a nice little like a uh, piece up to 41%. Yeah, but Lucina's kill power, her base knockback is just absolutely insane. I mean, the reason that Lucina is so much more popular of a character than Marth is because Marth's Tipper uh, only kills 12% earlier, while uh, Lucina's just base knockback kills like in general. Just like, you see it right there. You know? Only 1 on 1% on able to kill with a very very solid forward smash there. Mm, yeah, absolutely. It just kills like something like 30, 48%, something like that earlier. I, I, that might have been exaggerated. I don't know about that. But, you know, just significantly earlier, able to take the first uh, the first lead against Bankai. And this is also a top 32 winner's qualifier right here. I'm pretty sure that is where we are in all the echelons of these brackets right now. So Sounds both of these guys are going to be playing their absolute heart out to want to, like, advance further into the bracket right here. We see Ivysaur not able to convert that down throw into, uh, what is that? What's that what's called? The up The tether? Uh, I forget. The Vine Whip. Vine Whip, Vine Whip. Uh, forgive me, uh, not able to convert into the Vine Whip. Um, we see, able to convert that forward smash there, but only 0% on her second stock, 104 on this Ivysaur. Are we going to see, uh, are we going to see the Charizard come out at some point? I feel like he needs to rack up a little bit of damage before we can see that happen. I feel like you need to rack up a little bit of damage before you can get some of that kill potential that yeah, Charizard unless like, provides. Unless it's like a back air or like a raw like kill, uh, a raw kill move like a forward smash or something. Or maybe a forward air like off the stage or something. It's not going to kill. But Lucina's back air, still an incredibly strong attack. That move has always been DLC, man. Yeah. It pretty much always has. Lucina has never been DLC, but that move, basically DLC. And now Laid is, uh, Kool-Aid is still going to have this solid lead because of it. But he's tacking on the damage slowly but surely with the Squirtle right now. Already at 71%. 86! That's side B. So strong. Also invincible. You can't trade with that move. Yeah, uh, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Poke, uh, Bankai, of course, knowing that, you know, this has been his main for quite some time right oh, now. Oh, oh. Going for a hard read right there with the forward smash. I was thinking he was going to jump up, like, do, like, an up air or something, or, like, maybe a forward air. But, unfortunately for uh, Bankai, he just happened to read where he was going to go in the wrong direction. And Whoa. the raw up beat is going to be able to do it right there on Charizard on his way back. You know, that move scoops you from very, very far and kills you at some pretty wonky percents, my friend. And these ba switches have been crazy so far for uh, Bankai here. But we've seen when he switched with the uh, when he switched with the Ivysaur, he was able... And there you go again. Squirtle not able to train on that up beat. But going back to the uh, some of these switches that he's been going with. He was able to convert a down air immediately switching after Ivysaur, and then that Charizard able to kill with the up B there. Let's see if we see something crazy again like that, but no. Ivysaur trying his best to get back to center stage. You see one stock apiece. It's pretty much an even game. Well, maybe not an even game. What we're talking about uh, when we're talking about Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. You know. The back air is barely not going to be able to do it. Vine whipping his way back. He's going to have to, no, not Flare Blitz, but switch to Charizard, stalling himself in the air a little bit to be able to get that up back. The back air is going to be able to do it. Still has his jump. Kool-Aid will be able to make it back. And I doubt we're going to be seeing this man switch off of Zard for the rest of the game with uh, how high his percentage is right now. I'm surprised we didn't see Bankai go for any Fire Breath here. Especially off ledge, just making make it a little more difficult for... Especially with Kool-Aid going off stage against this Charizard right now and another tech to be able to save his overextension right there. Oh my goodness, and the up tilt, you know, getting the reverse hit wow. will definitely do it right there. Bankai rolling his eyes at that, none too happy. <laughs> One step further away from making it out into top 32 on the winner's side while Kool-Aid advances one more further. I don't so think I, I don't think that grammar was correct, but you know. No, no, I know what you're trying that, to say. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm being graded on today. I am. I am. Uh, I'm starting to starting to lose a little bit. Not lose it, but just like you know, I could use a coffee. <laughs> I could use a coffee. You know. We'll but, get you. We'll get you some coffee yeah. later. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get you some coffee later, my nah, friend. Nah, 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 nah. You know what? You know I'm what? I'm gonna pour it down I'm, your I'm, gullet. It, 
So yeah, game two here. We got uh, <laughs> Kool-Aid gonna stick with his uh, Kool-Aid gonna stick with his uh, Lucina, and uh, maybe we see. Now we're gonna see Squirtle right away again. Um, gonna attempt to do sort of the same thing he did last game. Gonna rack up a little bit of damage with the Squirtle before switching over to Ivysaur. Ivysaur, obviously the best of the three Pokemon available to Bankai here. Yes, absolutely. That character is essentially the perfect hybrid of Squirtle and Charizard in the sense that it has the kill power, survivability, combo game, jungle game. It's just a matter of being able decent to recovery. Play. Maybe a little, a little bit early with the uh, Ivysaur than I would have gone, but, you know, we, get it, we got it out here. Wrap, rack it up a little bit more percent. Yep, that's fair. Trying to mix him up with the back oh, air right there, and Kool-Aid. Finally that's... punished for his overextension off stage. That's the third time he's done that, the first time he's got punished for it. Yeah, yeah, that's why we see it's very, very hard for uh, Sorties. You know, if you if you miss off stage, it's very, very dangerous. You know, that, that down air covers so much room. It's the same thing as the up air, and it's crazy the amount of room that that covers. So if you're below him, it's... It's not, it's not looking good for you, and Kool-Aid learning that the hard way. 100% on this Ivysaur so far. Dancing Blade, typically not a good kill option unless you're right next to the character. Um, but Kool-Aid almost able to kill right there. Oh, wow. Smash. Good Could've option be able to there. do it right there, right above him. Yeah, it was a good option. I would have gone for forward smash there, and it probably would have, probably wouldn't have hit, honestly. But that's well, if Kool Aid, you know, there. backed up and did the forward smash, like if he walked behind and did it, you know, maybe it would have worked. But then he could have mixed in by landing on the platform or falling through it. You know, and it would have been sort of, in a sense like a 50-50 at that point. Right there, when he was right above him, he knew it wasn't. He knew it was now or never. There's the girl. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> I, I've loved her for years. I want to ask her to prom. I'm not going to let my nerves get the better of me. I'm just going to do the up smash, Newt. Just go for the up smash. Or in the case of Squirtle, the forward smash, bringing it back more into his favor. Only 21% up to 34, but still a very, very good look for Bankai here. Bankai played with a lot more confidence. And yeah, oh, and I like this down off. smash right there, covering the tech options that forced uh, that forced Kool-Aid off stage right now. And he is still on his last stock and just cool uh, not Kool-Aid. Uh, Bankai is just doing such a good job attacking on this damage right here, but now he is off stage. Thought he was switching to Squirtle at an unopportune time. I thought Kool-Aid, but the way he's been playing off stage right now, was just going to sink and try and bear that Squirtle right there, but he did not do it. Kool-Aid already playing a little more patient than he was before. Let's see if that uh, newfound patience is going to be able to win him this game and win him this set. LB, not going to do it just yet. Another one of those might uh, wind up doing it, especially since he's at 106. Going around the down air is Kool-Aid, and another up B, not going to be able to do it from the ledge right there. Forward smash, not going to kill Zard, of course. Way too heavy of a lad. And the sinking back air, going to be able to do it right there. You know, Lucina's love to do that. A very low lag attack, a very safe attack. And the up smash, <laughs> going to be able to do it right there. Bankai putting himself on the board. Yeah, up air, up air. Able to, even though it wasn't a spot where he wasn't directly above him, that aura that he throws out there just covers so much area. It's such an effective move in neutral and as a kill option. And as we see there, Bankai bringing it back to 1-1. Pretty even thus far. Um, as for what Kool-Aid could have done a little bit better that game, um, I feel like he played very, very similar to the way he played game one, but I think Bankai just did a better job of um, being yeah. a little more careful with his switches, being a little more efficient with uh, wrecking up percentage and um, switching between Ivysaur and Charizard to get some of those kills. Um, if he can continue to do that, Kool-Aid is going to be the one that has to be, say, okay, what's he doing? Why is he doing it? How can I adjust? Uh, I am not in a position right here to be able to have those answers. So it's going to be up to Kool-Aid to be able to show me how he's going to bring this back. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't have said that better myself, Nude, if I, if, I really, if I even really tried to. Yeah, that game two, the adaptation was definitely more so on the part of Bankai. He saw how aggressive that Kool-Aid was being off stage, how little he was even really getting punished for it. Um, uh, now, how little he was punishing him for it, and then, you know, he finally recognized that situation and started actually punishing him, like getting the down air and able to close out the stock. But now, it's game three. Now it's time for Kool-Aid to see how he can adapt to Bankai's adaptation. This right here, Newt, is why we play best of threes and best of fives instead of just playing one match and calling it a day. Yes, and moving absolutely. on in the bracket. The real, Because this is the real game right here, the mental game. The, uh, like, the can I adapt to my opponent game? Do I know my opponent's habits, and can I, like, adjust to that game? That's the game can i think game can i you know what i'm trying to say yes yes you got I, it i got it let's go new tether oh let's go bankai with the down throw to the up b right there forgive me vine whip vine whip down throw down throw into vine whip able to kill 
Is it really only 123? Uh, one up air, not quite gonna kill yet. Ivy Source is still a little heavy. Um, and Charizard, uh, Flurry throw here. Throw. Yeah. Let's see what the edge guard option is. Opting not to go for anything. Good jerk back to the ledge here. A little bit closer. That F tilt definitely would have done it, but like you said, it was a really good jerk back on the part of uh, Bankai right there. But not gonna matter for his not like it's gonna matter for his Ivy Swords. That back air is gonna be able to close out the stock, evening out the game yet again. And here we go, here we go with the Squirtle mix. Just pressing all those buttons. Squirtle, Squirtle can mash. Yeah, he can, he can, but opting to go to the Ivy Sword a little bit earlier than we've seen him go in games one and two. He just doesn't feel as confident in the Squirtle as he did in games one and two. He feels a little bit better with the Avatar Vine Whip. Not quite going to kill yet. Up air is going to connect 106 here. Whoa, falling up air now. He's been utilizing that a lot better this game. Yeah, he's trying to frame trap him now. He's trying to like Mario frame trap him right now or like, you know, Palutena do it just like some other character is able to do that. And so far, it's actually working out pretty well for him despite, you know, the Ivysaur uh, Vinewood pick right now. He's up a full stock already. He was uh, no, he was able to take Kool-Aid's second stock already and he's just tagging on more and more damage onto this last one right here. Kool-Aid has got to kill this Ivysaur pretty much right now if he wants to have an easier time making this back unless he wants to try and make it out to top 32 through the loser's bracket instead of the winner's right one. There. And he does! Ladies and gentlemen, last game, last stock, top 32, winner's qualifier, Bankai versus Kool-Aid right now, looking pretty with the 70, not even 70, increasing that, decreasing that, I should say, to about a 50% differential right now, and the parry, no Vine Whip right there, good air dodge coming out from Kool-Aid, barely surviving that up air right there, Newt, oh my goodness. It's very, very close, Kool-Aid playing a little, a little too anxious right now, and the beggar, big! Tail and right there, big guy with a off. little bit of a pop off there. He stood up in his chair, firmly exclaiming, I have just made it in the top 32 winner side over Kool Aid. And there you go, hugging his boy, Mr. E. Bankai. Very, very happy about that. You got to clap it up for him, man. He worked very hard for that one. Hugging wishes his fellow Pokemon trainer player. That is, uh, I believe, technically an upset. Yeah. And it looks like that might just be it for us, Newt. It has been Isn't that a, sad? It has been a hell of a lot of fun. I'm, I'm sad to have to leave the mic now. Tunis, you have a knowledge of the game that I hope to attain one day. <laughs> I play Mario, dude. I don't know anything. <laughs> but, I, uh, I mash up air and it works. But yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Um, we're going to be getting into top 32 very, very soon. Um, I believe the second half of uh, B Pools is still going on on House of 3K. That might have been the last of the top 32 winner, uh, qualifiers for this stream, I uh, believe. Yes, or for this stream. Yeah, for this stream, yes. Yeah, yeah. So possibly in general, so you can tune into House of 3000 to see the rest. Or right here, we're not, which I believe we're going to have some top 32 here as well. Yes, we are. Yes, yes we Chris? are. Yes, we are. Stick All right, around. already got it. Um, uh, yeah, don't touch that fire stick. Don't touch that mouse. Don't touch anything. We have some of the hottest Super Smash Brothers ultimate action that the good players of Tri-State have to offer. So, yes. yeah, my name is Dentunist. Uh, I am Newt. Please stick around. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, I am at Nate Olmeda. And I'm at Nintunis, if that's hard enough for you to remember. People mispronounce my tag somehow. And I subscribe don't to him it. on YouTube. <laughs> don't. Subscribe to him on YouTube. He makes good content. Nah, just sub to me on Twitch. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everyone. We love goodbye, you. Goodbye, everyone.